My hamster is coming out of the closet. Today, my hamster will be choosing a sexuality, pronouns, and a gender identity. First thing is sexuality. Let's see where she goes. Oh, oh. Oh. Heterosexual. Next up are pronouns. Oh, oh. I think there's one here. They, them. Last is gender identity. And they are non-binary. My hamster is a non-binary heterosexual with they, them pronouns. Baby, she a girl. You crazy, down boy. Look at your girl's face. Why are you so serious? Here's your reminder that fat phobia is rooted in racism. As always, if you haven't read this book, go do that. The main thing to understand is that for the last 300-ish years, white folks have been marketing fatness as a black trait. And this is regardless of whether or not black people individually were actually fat. That was irrelevant. The message they spread was that black women specifically were ravenous and uncontrollable, and these barbaric traits made them fat. On the flip side, thinness was marketed as a white trait. Again, regardless of whether or not individual white people were actually thin, that was irrelevant. The idea was that white women specifically were refined and restrained, and this led them to having delicate, thin bodies. Over the years, these messages have become more subtle, but even today, they are still very prevalent in conversations around race, health, capitalism, and poverty. There's a there's a classic prank where you hate up a, a baby Ruth and people think it's dog shit. Well, I really have dog shit and we're gonna see if it works on Tim. Okay, watch this shit. Hey Tim! What's up? Do you want to try some of this? What is it? It's, it's dog shit. That ain't dog shit. Dude, eat, eat. Huh? It's dog shit. On my tabs, like I say, what's such class? I'm not much an ass, but the niggas give me tabs because my flavor is tropical. Lips is phenomenal. Little dicks gotta go. My swag is all kind of hoes. Yeah, I'm.
Someone said, I'm not a real cat. That hurt. Asked the human to pop me a chalky cat milk. Chalky cat milk make pain go away. Whoever at Elf or Chipotle thought of making the avocado sponge, you snapped. You deserve a raise. <clears throat> you deserve a raise. It really does look like the Chipotle. So do you like to mix your bowl? I eat it left to right like a psychopath. That's how I like to eat it too. Look at the absolute sir. My look was inspired by the holy guacamole. Look at us. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Get your money, man. Like those. I'm hopeful. hopeful. Yes, I am hopeful for today. Take this music and use it. Let it take you away and be hopeful. Hopeful. And he'll make a way. I know it ain't easy, but that's okay. I usually do this less I'm drunk, I'm high, but I'm both right now. She looks like every other bitch. Yeah. Like yeah. Let's use your logic here. When the looting starts, the shooting starts. Well, when did the looting start? Oh, that's right. Our white ancestors started the looting. Our ancestors looted the land that you're living on today. They looted and took people from their country to make them as slaves. And our white ancestors pretty much looted from every single country. So we should start shooting white people? Because that's when the looting started, when white people started looting. It's funny when you make comments like this because you are living the benefits of looting. You're living on some looted land. These eco-friendly needle felted packers are super lightweight, sweat and odor repellent, have these felt tabs on them so you can safety pin them to the underwear so they don't move around or fall down your pant leg, have fabric on the back to prevent itchiness, and they're made from local, naturally dyed wool. If this looks like euphoria to you, DM me on Insta to learn more or to order one. Never have I ever done butt stuff. Oh gosh. Specify. It wasn't last night we did it. It was a couple nights ago. About that? Couple nights ago. Couple nights ago? Exactly where he's sitting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going over here now! <laughs> you're throwing it up the floor! <laughs> <laughs> I was Ray, bad. can you testify to this? I will plead guilty. Guilty! And we have a guilty verdict! <laughs> Yeah, you know what? The argument still stands. The fact of the matter is, is that I still believe that to be a fucking counselor, you have to be a leftist or a liberal. To be otherwise means you are absolutely incongruent with our ethics.